to announce that we are now going to be hearing from Xochipena Rodriguez, who is a candidate for Texas Senate District 19. Um, go ahead, come and join us. Um, so we are going to, so my name is Alia Khan. I'm the Communications Director at Planned Parenthood Texas Votes, joined here by Kenia Factory, a student leader at UTSA. Um, we're going to have three questions for you, but we want to start with just a one-minute opening statement. Hi, everybody, and thank you so much for having me here. I actually uh, used to work at UTSA as in-house attorney for about five and a half years, so very familiar with the, all the growth on that campus. Uh, my name is Sochi Peña Rodriguez. I'm running for State Senate District 19. I'm born and raised on the south side of San Antonio, a wife. <laughs> I'm a wife, mom, attorney, practicing for over 10 years. Um, I, I left San Antonio to, uh, to get my undergrad over at Rice University in Houston, uh, did architecture originally, uh, and then got my law degree from UT. Welcome, we should be meeting OU. Oh, no. <laughs> and when I came back to San Antonio, um, I worked as an assistant city attorney and uh, for UTSA. But as a woman, it is critical that we remain engaged in policy, that we remain at the table so that our issues are addressed. Because women's rights are human rights. And if we are not there, if we are not at that table, then that is simply not gonna be addressed in the same way. You know, I mean, I, I know what it is to, to have been pregnant. Uh, it's frankly a little scary. I know what it is to not have the information or that there are so many things out there that you think, hey, why didn't anybody tell me this? Or why don't we uh, share this information with women? You know, and we need to change that. I think that Texas can and needs to do better. So I ask for your vote, I ask for your support. And if elected, I would be the first Latina to represent this district. And it's about time. <laughs> you don't get change unless you change the face of power. Thank you so much. Um, so if you're just joining us, we're here with Zochi Peña Rodriguez, who is a candidate for Texas Senate District 19. My name is Alia Khan. I'm the Communications Director at PPTV. I'm excited to be joined by Camille Factory, student leader at UTSA. And Camille, why don't you start us off with the first question? Okay. So in what ways have you shown support for and been involved in the fight for expanded, expanded reproductive health access, uh, health care access in Texas? Um, and how have these issues impacted you personally? And what experiences have shaped your perspective? So since I messed that up, I'll repeat the question. <laughs> In what ways have you shown support for and been involved in the fight for expanding reproductive health care access in Texas? And how have these issues impacted you personally? And what experiences have you sh have sh uh, helped shape your perspective? So I have been a supporter of Planned Parenthood um, ooh, since high school, uh, since growing up, honestly. Um, I know a number of women who may have not had insurance and had to rely and receive, honestly, basic health care services from Planned Parenthood. And I really don't know where else they could have gone for that. You know, it's been a trusted provider in the community. You know, access to health care, reproductive justice, that is one of the most basic things if you don't have your health, you know, you may not be able to get out of bed, you may not be able to take care of your family, of yourself, be able to work. And being able to have access to, to reproductive health care so that you can plan your family, so you can coordinate how, you know, is this the right time, and have access to the care you need. I, I'm frankly um, horrified at our maternal death rate in this state, in this country, um, particularly for African-American women. 
it is shameful. It is it's just downright shameful. That's women's lives. That's children's lives. And so we need to make sure that we have access to care. And I will be a strong advocate for reproductive justice. Thank you so much. Um, this bill actually came up a little earlier um, when we were talking to our HD 121 candidate. But during the 2019 legislative session, extremist lawmakers pushed through SB 22, the dangerous anti Planned Parenthood bill. SB 22 bans local governmental entities from partnering with Planned Parenthood and other abortion providers. Local governments are playing an increasingly vocal role in reproductive rights, as we've seen with proposed abortion bans in small Texas towns. Um, we're currently at five Texas towns who have become sanctuary cities for the unborn, is what they're calling themselves. If you were elected, would you author a bill to repeal SB 22? I will support repealing SB 22. I know that Planned Parenthood has been able to partner with community colleges for pop-up clinics. Um, obviously, community colleges don't have the same kind of health resources that a four-year university would offer, and so that was that was huge. I know they've done, you know, condom outreach for uh, during the Zika outbreak, and just so many of these things, so that there is a healthcare provider out there providing that care. And honestly, local communities should have the ability and the authority to make these decisions themselves, to have autonomy. You know, if, this, if the residents of San Antonio want to be able to partner to make sure that healthcare access is provided throughout their community, we should be able to. And we should be able to determine with whom we want to do that with. So there's no reason that the state should be dictating to our local communities what they should be doing and who they can partner with. Thank you, and for those of you just joining us, we're really excited to be here with Dochi Peña Rodriguez, candidate for SD19. Um, and I'm going to hand it over to my co-moderator, Camilla Factory, a student leader at UTSA. Bills like HB 16, referred to by anti-choice extremists as the Born Alive Bill, go a long way in stigmatizing abortion and misinforming the public. What are some concrete ways that you plan to help fight back against this type of misinformation as a candidate for the Human Rights Division? You know, I think that's a real challenge because um, honestly, it's, it's not just misinformation about that. There, there is misinformation about so many things. And I feel a lot of times, uh, if you're on a, if you're on the right side of the aisle, occasionally you, there's only certain news sources that you actually go to and trust. And if you hear anything from the other side, well, that's fake news. And so that's that's hitting here um, in some very horrible ways. I I remember hearing about that legislator who was like, oh, well, if you have an ectopic pregnancy, obviously you can you can take it out and you can just reimplant it. We, there are some basic knowledge of women's health that is just <laughs> that, is, that is just wrong. Uh, so we, we need to try and educate. We need to try and be in those spaces, uh, try and uh, try to find the different advocates within the community that that people trust that they can go to. So you can come up and say, uh, you know, that's that's not accurate. Uh, that that's really not how this procedure works. And you know, after a while of, of trying to do that and trying to change the arguments, we'll see where we get. But that's gonna be a challenge. So I wanted to give Kimia an opportunity. Um, we have just a few minutes left um, with Sochi Peña Rodriguez, candidate for Texas SD19. We're very excited to have here today. Um, can you end? Do you have another question you want to ask? Okay. Okay. So I know that I heard you talk about uh, being, if you are elected, being the first proud Latina you know, to, to be um, elected. So what do you hope this looks like for the young women of color in the San Antonio community? Um, what future do you want to make for them as a candidate moving forward? 
And that's, that's a question I've been thinking a lot about since the, the birth of my daughter, uh, which my husband and daughter are here in the back. I just wanted to recognize them. <laughs> it, you know, I, I think it makes a difference uh, who is elected to represent us and what life experiences that they've had and that they bring to the table. You know, to be able to look across and see, you know, someone who at least kind of looks like you, has gone through some of those same struggles, you know, has been treated as, as, has been coming in as an attorney and then treated as a paralegal or the one who's supposed to get coffee, or has, you know, had to face a number of men who try to talk over you or take credit for your ideas or, quite frankly, not pay you um, as much as your male counterpart. Uh, the, these are all struggles that are far too familiar uh, that I have faced myself. And we only get to start to change those conversations by being at that table and making a difference. And telling all of our family members, all of our friends to get involved because this is the 13th vote that will block Dan Patrick's agenda. This is the only flippable Senate seat in Texas and this will, will make a difference. Thank you. Ask for your vote. Thank you so much. And I just want to say personally how excited I am to talk to three women candidates um, who are all amazing in their own way. So thank you all so much for being here. Um, we have just a minute left, so if you'd like to close with anything. Well, I want to thank y'all for doing this. Uh, thank y'all for the education that y'all have been doing throughout the community and the access to health care that y'all have provided. It is critical. It, it is so important. It is basic. You know, we are literally fighting for our lives, for our children's lives, for you know, I, honestly, as I think, as I look over at my daughter and, and I'm wondering, you know, what kind of world is she gonna grow up in? What kind of Texas are we going to be leaving for her? So we need to all be engaged in 2020 and make sure that our voices are heard. It's women's rights, our human rights, and we need to be at that table making decisions. Thank you, I ask for your vote. <laughs> SB19 and our candidates from earlier in the forum, um, Selena Montoya and Becca De Feliz running for Texas HD121. We were really glad and are so grateful to you for coming out and sharing um, your thoughts and your positions on reproductive health care and rights. Thank you to everyone here. Thank you to everyone watching. And thank you to my co-moderator, Camille Factory, who came with the tough questions. Um, <laughs> Um, and um, thank you all so much. We appreciate it.